hello friends you're welcome to my youtube channel it's your lady it's your queen it's your girl la v at the recreations the beautiful life channel so in today's video we're going to talk about why you should not get into debt why you should not get indebted why you should not borrow money from people why you should not take money from people in order to pay back so first of all what is a debt let's dive into the video and watch until the end thank you hello friends so once more you're welcome welcome to my new subscribers and to you who is just returning back please do not forget to hit the like button if this is your first time stumbling by my videos please do well to click the subscribe button click the notification bell so that when i upload another video you would definitely get the notification thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so what is a debt a debt is money you borrow from someone in order to pay back in maybe a couple of days a couple of weeks a couple of months or maybe in a year whatever you decide to do with a debt determines how that debt affects you so it's either a good debt or a bad debt it is a bad debt if you borrow money from someone in order to use on things that do not make your financial situation better than it was before you borrowed that money it is a bad debt if you borrow that money in order to keep up with an expensive lifestyle that you do not really have the money to pay for it it is a bad debt if you borrow money in order to go on a shopping spree or in order to go for a party or go on a trip that doesn't benefit you or lift up your financial situation better than it is on the other hand it is a good debt if the money you're borrowing is meant to invest in something that is gonna generate the money you borrowed and maybe some profit and why not something to save from that money so it is a good debt if you borrow money from a bank in order to start a business that you definitely know that will bring in money it is definitely a good um, debt if the money money you borrow is in order to to finance something that will make your financial situation better so much so that you're able to pay back the debt and still make some profits from the money you borrowed so why should you not get indebted in the first place the reason why you should not get indebted is because you know when you borrow money it doesn't come with the hard labor that was put in in order to earn that money so much so that when the money comes in you spend it without that fuel you spend it without knowing that you're actually spending money so borrowing money increases your spending ability when you actually work for money earn that money and spend that money you have some degree of control over it you come to that realization that this is something that you really worked hard in order to get so you spend it with some sort of restriction but when you borrow money from someone you don't feel that hard labor you put in order to get that money so much so that you just keep spending the money without that fuel and before you know it the money is gone and you start looking for where to borrow money again and again and again this takes us to the second point the second reason why you should not get into debt which is getting into debt is an addiction it is an addiction because when you keep on borrowing money and borrowing money and borrowing money you find yourself doing it over and over and over and over again and again and again and again as your spending ability increases your borrowing ability equally increases which becomes an addiction and an addiction is something that comes with a negation so this is the reason why you should not get indebted in the first place in order to avoid a borrowing or debt addiction this is the reason why you should not get yourself into debt another reason why you should not get yourself into debt is because getting yourself into debt can lead to depression when you borrow money from people and you're unable to pay back you can slowly get into depression like you get people asking you to pay up you get people from east west north and south all asking you to pay up their money you know you get people knocking at your door knocking at your office trying to meet you up in places where they know that you're always um 
around in order to meet up with you, ask for their money, ask you to pay up, insult you, embarrass you, disrespect you because you owe the money because you have to pay up. And this can definitely lead into depression. And this is why you should not borrow money in the first place. Getting yourself into debt can equally lead into a gambling and scamming, lies telling and cheating addiction. Now, when you borrow money and you're unable to pay that money, you definitely start telling lies because you're unable to meet up with your debts and you need to, you know, keep up the lies so that you can get people off of you who are trying to ask you to give back their money to pay up. Most Acute gamblers are great borrowers. So definitely a borrowing addiction is equal to a scamming and gambling addiction. So when you are someone who borrows money, then you'll gradually get into a scamming and gambling addiction. Now, because you have no source of income in order to pay off, pay up your debts, you start finding ways that you can get easy money in order to either pay up your debt or continue to finance the lifestyle that you've always borrowed money to keep up because everyone already knows that you've got a borrowing addiction and there is no one who wants to lend you money anymore because most importantly, the reason why you should not get into debt is because if you are a startup business owner, then you should definitely not get into debt because as a startup business owner, you have to understand that you have to birth the company and then walk it through until it has developed at a certain extent that it can be able to start yielding the capital, yielding some profit, paying the workers, and then providing money that you can actually pay up your debts. So before you start up your business, if what you have available is money that you have to borrow, then you have to weigh this to understand whether the time that your business will develop and the time that you have to pay up your debts can actually make you survive and still keep your company. A borrowing mistake can ruin a startup company. A borrowing mistake can ruin even a company that has developed and has stabilized. This is the reason why you've got to make very, very important decisions when it comes to getting into debt. So we've come to the end of this video. I hope, hope, hope this video impacted and inspired something in you. See you next time on another session with startup businesses in Africa, as this is what I will be talking about on this channel until we get to our next topic. It's a goodbye from me to you, ladies and gentlemen. So do have a good life. Have a bevy. Goodbye. Play. 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 Play.